All right, part two of the update, where I'm going to show you all of my new additions in terms of DVDs. Let's start off with The Matrix, because I've actually got quite a few new titles. First, I got The Matrix Revisited DVD. This is sealed, and it says, Protected by Anti-Theft Security System. I'm going to unpack this, of course. Spine and the back. Really good condition. Has a bunch of uh, bonus features on it including a sneak peek at the Matrix revel uh, Reloaded. And, yeah, very cool DVD. I used to have this one. I threw it out, but I'm glad I got another copy. And then I got the Matrix uh, Reloaded right here. Two-disc widescreen edition. I actually wasn't going to pick these up, by the way, uh, but the Thrifty Bargain was having a sale for Memorial Day, and I'm like, you know what? Be a good time to get these. But, yeah. Very cool. Uh, got a nice little piece of art there. So that's Matrix Reloaded. And then Matrix uh, Revolutions. The third film in the trilogy. Or in the saga, I guess, now. Uh, you got the two disc. Very cool uh, art piece. I really like this. It looks really nice. Uh, but yeah. Very cool. Glad I got all three of those. And no, I did not pick up a copy of The Matrix Resurrections. I planned to. Uh, but I was having no luck finding it at a thrift store. I mean, I maybe could have gone and tried to order it or something. But it's such a new title. That I'm just going to wait a year or so. I haven't even heard it's that good, so I'd rather spend as little as possible. But uh, next, we've got two Mummy films right here. We got the first one, The Mummy from 1999, the collector's edition. Disc, pamphlet, and then... The Mummy Returns from, I believe, 2002. I have no idea, but it looks really creepy. Should be a fun film. Yeah, Collector's Edition once again with some bonus features on both of them. And then you've got the Hunger Games films. First, you've got the Hunger Games two-disc plus digital copy. Spine and the back. And here's all the bonuses. Got this one at Thrifty Bargain in uh, Yuba City when I got the Matrix disc. And yeah, very glad I found these. Uh, found this one at least. But yeah, here's a paper that comes with it. And then, let's see what else I got here when it comes to the Hunger Games. I got the sequel, of course. Hunger Games Catching Fire which, unfortunately, is not a bonus feature copy. I may replace it in the future. But uh, it does have some pretty cool bonus features, so I'm happy about that. But it has a sneak peek of Divergent, deleted scenes, uh, audio commentary, uh, digital code. So, yeah, this was a pretty cool one to find, too. I got this at the Goodwill, by the way, in Yuba City. And then I've got two superhero films. So I've got a new copy to start off with of Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut. This copy does work. My old one does not for some reason. Uh, but here's the disc. And then, finally, when it comes to superhero films, I got the 2018 film, or 2017? I don't know. Wonder Woman. Yep. DC title. Uh, trying to get all the DC titles that I'm interested in, so this was a pretty cool one to find. Two-disc release. I did watch the movie. I thought it was alright. Could have been done better, but it could have been worse. Especially considering it's a uh, DC film. And, uh, yeah, that's it for uh, the live-action adventure films, but I do have two other DVDs. First... The finale to the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. With the disc. And by the way, I did see this movie today. And then finally, Cheaper by the Dozen.
Got this at the same place I got the, uh, what was it? The, um, Superman 2 DVD, The Opportunity House in Vacaville. And, yeah, very cool to get all those discs. But what is my big surprise for this update? Well, it is a Star Wars The Phantom Menace widescreen video collector's edition box set. Yep, I bought this at Half Price Books. This is the first special collector's edition set I have bought. And it is very cool. Um, yeah, you can see the back. Uh, got a little art book advertisement, a film strip. It shows you what's inside, pretty much. And, uh, now we take a look inside, which uh, I may have to repair this a little bit with some tape. But you have got the uh, art book, which comes with it with some concept art. Uh, not there. Sorry. Yeah, very cool. And then you get a little film strip with Darth Maul and Qui-Gon along with Obi-Wan on the other side. And then, finally, you have the widescreen VHS, which... I would say this was a pretty cool find. I actually saw this, though, uh, the next day at a thrift store for, like, only a dollar. So I kind of regretted getting this set, but I mean, come on, it's a really cool, you know, set. So yeah, here's the tape. Print date from January 11th of 2000. And let me put this all back in. But yeah, honestly, this is a really cool set. Uh, would I recommend getting this? In all honesty, if you're a collector, I would, but if you're just trying to get the Star Wars films on VHS, like, just one copy of each film and you don't care what version, I wouldn't spend the money on it. But, I mean, for me, it was a great find, so... Yeah, man, how do I put this back in? Sorry. Uh, was it like that? No, I don't want to break it. I think it was like this. How do you put this back in? Hold on. I'm going to have to, uh, remember this, because I feel like every time I mess it up, it is ruining the box. I can tell... Okay, hold on. Alright guys, well I'm going to give up on trying to get this in there for now, but thank you all for watching, hope you enjoy, and peace out, bye for now.